Hey guys, it's Chandler with Peach and Pine Home. And recently we showed you our newly furnished living room, which we are so excited about. Today we wanted to focus a little bit on the performance fabrics that we use on our sofas and show you just how well they work. We have a toddler, we have another one on the way, we have three pets, we have a very busy life, and it was really important that we invested in fabrics that will stand up to a busy family. So we focused on performance fabrics. We covered this sofa in white, and I wasn't even scared about it because this is an inside out fabric that will repel stains, that will stand up to dirt, that's easy to clean. And um, I wanted to show, we wanted to show you a little bit more about how that works and put it to the test today. We've already, we've only had the sofa for, for a few weeks. The dog has already messed up on it. We've trapped dirt in on it. Um, we've already seen that this can be easily cleaned and we're so happy with the way that it's working for our family. So let's head over and I'll show you just how easy it is to take care of an inside out performance fabric. Okay, I feel like I'm doing a science experiment right now. I'm gonna be honest, we have not tried this in this way, but I, I know that this fabric is going to stand up well to stains. We have some um, coffee, some of my leftover coffee from this morning. We have some, I'm going to be honest, it's grape juice. I'm pregnant, so we didn't have wine in the house, but this, will, this is our wine stand-in. Um, we have, I have a marker that I'm going to color on, just like I'm our two and a half year old. Um, and then I'm just using soap and water. This is just dish soap and water that we put into a spray bottle, but with inside out fabrics specifically, one of the awesome things about it is that you can use almost any household cleaner. You can even use bleach if you have a really hard to get out stain. The reason that it's called inside out is that it can be um, an indoor or outdoor fabric. So it's sun fading resistant and you can, like I said, you can use bleach, you can use water, you can use pretty much any cleaner. There are very few cleaners that are not safe to use on this fabric, but really the main thing you need is soap and water. I also wanted to mention, this is a sample of the actual fabric we have on our sofa. Um, it's from a line called Gowan, but Inside Out carries a lot of different fabrics. Also, Inside Out is used by a lot of furniture manufacturers. Um, there are a lot of brands of performance fabrics. We just particularly, particularly love Inside Out because I think their fabrics feel so luxurious, but they're also indoor outdoor and um, have just some of the most impressive properties of the performance fabrics that we've worked with. But this is a piece that is exactly like what we had our sofa covered in, which is why I'm using it right now. It's a light color. Um, this is a bit of an experiment. Okay, I'm gonna start with the coffee. I'm just gonna spill a little bit of coffee and see what happens. Okay, that's so impressive. As you can see, can you tell, it literally just beaded up. Like it didn't even soak into the fabric. So in this case, and one thing I have read is that it's nice if you can catch the stain early to just sort of scoop it up like this instead of um, dabbing it because you don't want to push it into the fabric if you don't have to, you know. Um, but just sort of, I mean, that's amazing, right? Sorry, I'm getting excited. I can't even tell I spilled coffee. That's really impressive. <laughs> that makes me feel better because even though we've spilled things on our sofa, I still have like a little bit of panic moment whenever I see my toddler come into the room with something messy. Um, that was awesome. Okay, this is grape juice. We'll pretend it's wine. It's probably going to do the same thing. Yep, it just beads right up. I mean, you can literally like, it will roll around like a bead. <laughs> um, just get it right up. And I will, I'll, what I'll try to is let's pretend a toddler, you know, gets to it before you do and kind of pushes it into the fabric. I don't know if you, I don't know if it will even push in. Let's see. It won't even, <laughs> it won't even push in. It just comes, I was like, let's pretend they really rub it around in there, but it won't even, 
it won't even go in to the fabric. That's how resistant it is. I will say we did get some dirt. I don't even know what trapped in, but one day we just looked down and there were quite a few kind of dirt spots. I'm sure my son probably sat on the couch with his shoes on after running around outside or something and a little soap and water and it just came right up. Um, also, our dog had an accident on the side of the sofa. Um, I, we don't even know when. And again, a little soap and water, uh, like, 10 seconds of scrubbing and it was out. I will, okay, I'm gonna try. This one makes me a little nervous. This is just a marker, just a Crayola marker. Um, so let's say Judah comes by and he's like, wow, mom, look what I just drew. <laughs> oh, I hope this comes out. So obviously that's not gonna beat up the same way. But I'm just gonna spray it with soap and water. I can actually already see it like coming off into the soap. I'm just going to kind of, I have read that using a stiff bristle brush to rub the soap in can help. Came right out. Can't even see it. Literally perfect. I feel good about that. We knew this fabric would be good. Um, but this is one of the reasons that I encourage families. I, there's always kind of a tension. I feel like when you're buying furniture with a busy family between investing in something that you're going to keep for a long time when you know you have kids who are messy or going with something cheap and not worrying about it being messed up. And I feel like there's a happy medium where sometimes when you invest in the piece that has the quality fabric and the quality construction, that just means it's gonna stand up to kids instead of being trashed by them. Um, and it, honestly, it's not just kids. We're messy as grownups. I feel like a lot of the messes that happen on our furniture are because we spilled something, not because our child did. So um, I feel like making sure you're paying attention to the fabric you get on your furniture can make a huge difference. And we love inside out fabrics. They're great, as you can see.